For everyone making six figures, what do you do for work? Staff scientist at a national lab, but don't get too excited. You go to college for nine years first, and lots of analysis shows the better money is taking an undergrad engineering job, getting paid sooner, and working up the corporate ladder. I basically get to chase down whatever cool ideas I want though, within reason. Shoot positrons through magnets to make x-rays. Let's do it. Can we make a better jet engine using redacted for compression blades? Here's 20 million dollars, go find out. Aircraft mechanic. Pharmacist. Crane operator in the oil industry. Easiest job I've ever had. $3,000 to get your NCCO and $6,500 to get your CDA. I work 12 hours days but only on the crane one 1.5 hours a shift. The other 10.5 11 hours is spent sleeping, playing Xbox, watching movies, etc. People should be listing their age here as well. Pharmacist. 250k student loan. Super stressful job that I hate. Would not recommend. Air traffic control. I own a house painting company. 20-30 hours a week of manual labor a week and about 10 of office paperwork. Two employees. Edit holy crap I never thought everyone would be so interested in house painting lol. From my perspective it is a very rewarding and fun job. I work with two of my friends, or rather one of my friends and one guy who became my friend after being hired. I do the jobs we want to do when we want to do them and generally have fun most days. There is a lot of stress too but I honestly like that as well, I love problem solving. Public librarian in California I'm at the top of our salary scale for non-managers, since I've been here current job for 11 years. Gross salary is right around $100,000 full benefits and a pension. And I actually enjoy the work, too. IT. My job is basically figure out how to herd cats, by asking the cats how they want to be herded. Make reports from databases, mostly. That and related analysis, helping users use the software, help design how well configure software, test it, etc. I'm a court reporter stenographer in the US. Software developer. To answer another commenter's question, I usually work 30-40 hours a week. Truck driver, specifically fuel transport and delivery. Average around 150k a year, but can get into the low 200s if I was willing to do FIFO work. Journeyman lineman. Oklahoma. Physician. 30. But also 230k in debt. Accounting. To everybody who responded with their job, please help me. You're hiring? I'm tired of eating noodles and peanut butter. Work in the trades. Many of my buddies who are electricians, plumbers and HVAC all make six plus figures with zero student loan debt. Not too bad. Outpatient psych nurse. I work in an industry where AI will soon be doing all of my work. And no one will care. They will still be entertained. And at some point you will not know the difference. Stunt performer. UPS delivery driver. Excellent benefits, Teamsters Union. My best friend is a senior underwriter for Chase Bank. He makes about $115,000. What's really a slap in the tits is he's a high school dropout. I'm a cloud infrastructure manager but since no one knows what that is I just say I'm a technical project manager. I'm 33 and I've been doing this for about 4 years. I started making a bit over $60,000 a year as a junior project manager and I've had 2 promotions at this point. Currently work in the financial services sector in a Fortune 500 company. Completely remote. Work 40 hours a week except for the occasional weekend release. I clean houses. During my days of dusting and clean rich people's toilets, I pull out my phone and tell people I make six figures. Kiss people's ass that make seven figures. Spray shot Crete for tunnels underground, high school dropout. $1,050 a day, work two weeks a month. 
life's good. Four-year project, having been out of work since I started spraying. Eleven years now. I'm a private criminal defense attorney. Luckily I don't have any student loan debt. I went to law school on a full scholarship. Not sure I'd do it again if I could reset. I'd sure never recommend that anyone go $200,000 or more into debt for law school. Nope nope. I am 26, I am a stripper and substitute teacher. I make around 130000 before taxes a year. Train conductor. I switched careers and no longer make six figures, however I used to make that about nine years ago, self-publishing my own romance and erotica books. Screenwriter. I'm 36, and it took me 10 years to A get good, and B get an agent. For much of that time, I made less than $30,000 a year working part-time jobs, tutoring, and waiting tables. Now my fee per script is in the low to mid six figures. It's a little like the NFL lots of people want to do this job, but very few people actually can, and the development window is very long. Public school teacher but in I live in a very expensive area, have a master's degree, 10 years of experience, and a ton of continuing education credits. My district also doesn't give health care. Geologist. My job rocks. I make insulin for diabetics. I have no college, it's basically a glorified factory job that looks similar to how a modern brewery is run. I sell propane and propane accessories. Trophy husband. My brother right off the street, no college, some kind of latex factory. <laughs>